going everybody welcome back to the channel um so we are working on the rental house today the uh investment property or whatever we want to call it so cleaning things out pretty much got a lot of the house clean and uh we've been getting a lot more rain than usual and so all the gutters were leaking and falling down and having a bunch of problems so we got the gutters unscrewed and I came up here and noticed that these gutters packed full of mud and uh, so came out, cleaned everything out by hand, um, got a lot of this gutter, or pretty much got all this gutter cleaned out and uh, need to screw it back up. I'm going to wash it out with a pressure washer to, get it, to finish cleaning it. So we ended up just throwing all the dirt down out of the gutters uh just onto the concrete we're gonna work our way from top to bottom so i'll have to clean all this next but this is all mud and dirt out of just that one gutter and there's still endless amounts to go so yeah it, it was a muddy muddy mess literally hundreds of pounds of dirt up there probably And then the other gutters, these are these these are traditional gutters. These other gutters are still clogged and uh they're a little bit harder. I'll I'll give you a look at those. We're gonna have to do a lot of work to those guys. So came up here and the uh pulled a lot of the mud off the roof. Obviously it was all the way back. This is a gutter here, and you can't access the gutter, the gutter's underneath, so the water goes down underneath it. Really bad design. It is completely packed. Let's see if I can get down there. It is completely packed full of mud. So I got to pull the face on that. But the gutter is also what supports the awning. It's the posts support the gutter. Uh, so that's a project. Got to get up under these eaves. Those are all packed full of mud and dirt and everything like that. And... Uh, there's a step in the roof. The roof leaks right here. And this was all packed full of mud, so we raked all that out, scooped all that out. I gotta clean it off, find the leak there. Unfortunately, you can't walk on these roofs. Um, they're just, just an awning. So started pulling all the dirt back from out of here to try to get it to drain, because these things are just uh, damming up water. They're piling it backwards. And we pulled the fascia off and cleaned all it, 20 foot fascia right up to here. This is a pretty long, I think like 60 foot awning. So you can see, this is where I haven't cleaned yet. All the mud is backed up and the water's backing up to the house. So I gotta come through here, clean all that stuff out and I've gotta pull all of that fascia in order to get that gutter cleaned and clean all that and then i've got a fascia here that's clogged and a fascia over here that's clogged um you can see the gutter just completely piled full there and then a lot of this is dented and messed up here this is where we've been working on vehicles under here in the summertime outside but in the winter time we're going to try to enclose this and uh maybe make it a little bit of a usable area for the excess projects that we have so, I've got a few skylights that are leaking. We got the air conditioner uh, winterized, kind of, and I got to get it, well, totally winterized. And eventually find the leak that's coming through here, probably reseal a lot of this. And uh, get it to where the rain flows away from this place. So, I noticed, I didn't notice when I bought this place, but one satellite dish two satellite dishes. Ooh, I'm gonna slip off this roof. Uh, man, it's really, it's icy up here. Maybe you guys will get a good video of me plummeting. Uh, three satellite dishes, four satellite dishes. They took their TV very important over a 40 year span or 50 year span. So uh, several more buildings, several more awnings around this property. This is the only one I'm worried about now. But we've got the chicken coop that's all clogged up 
Everything's pretty messed up there. We've got another house with gutters there. My storage trailer. We've got a... Uh, that one's getting clogged up. I cleaned from here to over to the tree, but it's still clogged up underneath the tree. And we've got one other house with gutters and awnings and everything on it in the back. And, uh, and then I've got one other house that we already cleaned and did everything and got it rented out. So come around the front side of the property. These are just fascias. There's nothing back there. And then this is the, the, the gutter that I took off. And I got it laying down here on the ground. We got most of it cleaned out, but it literally weighs several hundred more pounds than it's supposed to. There's dirt all over that uh, that we we're dropping off there. So, try to get this. I don't even know. I didn't look where it was draining, but um, we need to get this to where it drains out the edges instead of backs up into the house. And then we've got, this is a gutter here on this side and that's a gutter there. They've got the ridges, it's kind of complicated. I gotta figure out how this thing wants to drain, but they've got the ridges flowing this way and the gutters flowing this way. So hopefully if my eyes are right, it's slanting one way or the other and the gutters can take the rain to the backside away from the house. Um, not a big deal if they don't, just it would help a little bit. And then this gutter's got a lot of a lot of damage from tree limbs and stuff falling on it. Some cracks that would be nice to get sealed up. And uh, some seams that are split. So it's not going to be perfect, but we could definitely make it better. And then I ordered a uh, some canvas. And we're actually going to enclose this whole thing. Uh, to use it for projects in the in the winter time and it'll just be temporary it'll clip on and off so we're gonna enclose all of this with a canvas material and then we're gonna end up putting some wood stoves or something in here maybe a natural gas heater or something like that but uh just so we can continue to work on on some stuff if we need to we still have the shop that's uh, nice and insulated and heated and we've got some other outdoor areas that we'll use as well, but uh, Figured this would be a good experiment for now So stay tuned. I'll make a video on that one coming up other than that we're gonna get all these gutters cleaned out today and and uh, Try to get the water to flow away from this place. I'm in the New Mexico desert, so We don't get a lot of rain, but we we have been here lately and this thing leaks. I don't know. You can see the water stain on the carpet going back here. It's backing the water up and it's freestanding water. And then since these things aren't meant to seal against the house, they're just uh, stepped flashing or whatever you call it. So it's backing up and draining all throughout here. Pretty nice porch though. I'm sure this place was gorgeous in its day 40, 40 years ago. Um, nice screened in porch and everything like that. So, but yeah, stay tuned. I'll get a good video of the enclosed and making a wood stove and everything for this place. We've, I'm going to make all the canvas siding and all the clips and everything to attach it. Still got some experimenting to do with that. Um, just moving along on these rentals. I actually just winterized the single wide and, uh, we're gonna let it sit for the winter time um, and deal with it next spring. There's too much else going on around here. Uh, we cleaned a little bit of the chicken coop out, got rid of the chickens, and uh, we got to reset for that one of these days to to uh, get it nice and clean and organized and um, get the chickens back in there. Like I said, this place is old. The one house is 1950s, which is super super old for my area. Uh, so. Chicken coops old. I mean, it's had some updating and everything over the years, but everything around here is at least 40 years old. So, but yeah, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. I got some more videos coming up and uh, like and subscribe if you can. We'll see you the next time.